Turn. My, uh, my next guest is a prolific character actor who's best known for his Emmy Award winning role as White House Communications Director Toby Ziegler on The West Wing. Please welcome Richard Schiff. Yeah. Let me clear up something right away. Yeah. It Fellow is, West Winger over it, here. Did you see him on the show? He was great. It is, it is, it is oh, last oh, Comic-Con. Apparently not. Oh, yeah. everyone. <laughs> We're going to add uh, applause later. Uh, <laughs> last comic standing, late night with Conan O'Brien, Olympics. West Wing is the fourth leg of that. Yeah. Right, huh? That's the tent pole now. People watching at home don't know if that's laughs, uh, applause I added or not. They'll just never know. <laughs> I think we're leaving out passions. Oh, passions, right. <laughs> It's a hell of a soap opera. You know, uh, uh, my nine and a half year old son is here, Gus. He's in the audience right now. And uh, uh, I wanted him to, put a, uh, to sit out in the audience. Producer said, producer said, well, it's a little bit of an adult theme. And Jay chimed in and said, hey, I'll clean up my act tonight. <laughs> Thank you, Jay. Thank you. you. Know I have a lot of questions waiting for me after no, the show. It's, it's, come on, Richard. It's better to hear it from me. This was the G version. He, of your Jay son Moore. knows what a porno stash is. <laughs> Well, well, if he's, if he's, if he's so. found the stash under my bed, yes, <laughs> then he knows. Just kidding, Gus. Just kidding. We're going to clean this up. You know, the classy part of this show starts now. Okay. And what better way Let's to... Let's be still and edit everything out up until now. It's really? too late. That's too much money. Oh, well. Uh, <laughs> what better way to class this up than to mention that you just got your, your doctorate? I did. From yeah. City College, New York? Yes. And uh, you're a doctor now. And the day, the day you got your doctorate, President Clinton also received a doctorate. So you were with him in this ceremony. That's got to be amazing. Yeah, although he didn't go to my college, so I don't know how that happened. Yeah. But no, he, he, he got it along with a, a wonderful novelist named Walter Mosley and some other very prestigious people. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it was President Clinton and myself, and I walked on the procession with him through this loving, adoring crowd. It's like Elvis, you know, it's up in Harlem. Right. He's loved up there, if not everywhere, but he's mm -hmm. definitely loved up there. And uh, I'm walking down the procession with President Clinton, and people are screaming and shouting, and we've shot this scene a hundred times on the West Wing, right, where we're right. walking on a procession with people screaming and shouting. It was very surreal because, I don't know, Toby, Richard, I don't know who I am right, anymore. Right, right, right. Did he, uh, did you get to talk to him? Did he, did he mention we talked you? For quite about, uh, we talked for quite a bit about serious stuff, politics right. and, and so on, before we, uh, we began the day. And he did mention uh, in his speech that he was a bit envious of me because I still had a job in the White House. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. It'd be weird, you know, because for him, if he's watching the West Wing, it would be hard for him not to say, like, yeah, but the Oval Office, you guys make that door over here and it's over there. You know, We're actually modeled after the Clinton Oval Office. It looks just like it looks just like the furniture's been changed since uh, George W. went in there. I think there's a lot of rodeo art in there. <laughs> um, I like rodeo art. Yeah. yeah. But the first time I was in the Oval Office, uh, 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 the president was in New Zealand, um, and uh, it looks just like ours. And in my Oval Office, if if you will, right. uh, I feel very comfortable. And uh, I saw the furniture, I saw the couch, I, my feet hurt, and I almost jumped on the couch and took a nap right, in the real right. Oval Office, which wasn't, wouldn't have been... Forty a, Secret you, Service guys would have come out of the ceiling and beaten you senseless, probably. Yeah, or something else might have. <laughs> I don't know what. What? Oh, huh? <laughs> you know that White House, huh? Yeah, let's move on. Um, <laughs> this is the classy part of the show starts now. <laughs> You know, you're, you have a little bit of a, I didn't, I didn't realize this because you, you seem like such an upstanding citizen. You're known uh, on the lot, the Warner's lot, where you shoot the West Wing, you're known as a bit of a rebel, a bad boy. Really? Yeah. <clears throat> well, uh, that reputation might have started because I get a little restless. They have a lot of these golf carts flying around, you know, the, the Warner Brothers lot, and I, I, I hijack them every now and then and <clears throat> just burn rubber around the lot. Burn rubber meaning what, 18, 19 miles an hour? It's all, it's all in the stop. You can go seven miles an hour, get some advantage with a little hill, and then just do a 360. It's great. <laughs> okay. Especially if you go to Western Town, because you can kick up all that dirt. Right, right. So you were doing this? Yeah. 
<laughs> Ever tempted to, to, to get your own vehicle, and, you know, instead of... Well, my wife actually bought me a, a little scooter because she heard the stories, and... And so I got a little red scooter with a seat on it, you know, and... To... A red scooter with a seat? Yeah. <laughs> were there bells and maybe uh, colored tassels hanging off of it? No, but it did have training wheels. Uh-huh. And uh, uh, this was so I can go to the Starbucks, which is way on the other side of the lot. And, you right. know, she was a very nice gift. It was a thoughtful gift. Sure. And I started to drive it to the... Was it motorized? motorized it was scooter? a little motorized, 12 miles an hour, officially and legally a bicycle. You can ride it on the sidewalk. I was riding a safe little, quiet little vehicle uh, to the Starbucks, and the security guard started chasing me, <laughs> saying, you can't ride that on this lot. I know it's a bicycle. It's legally a bicycle. You cannot ride that vehicle on this lot. And I said, I'm sorry, but I'm going to. And I kept <laughs> riding it to the, to the Starbucks. You know what? It's some indication of how slow the vehicle is that you can be having this, this conversation. conversation. <laughs> you got to get off that thing. No. I really... <laughs> You really got to get off of it. Really, I, I, I want to keep the slow pace. Yeah, yeah. So you, uh, what happened here? Did you... Well, I get to the Starbucks and I come outside uh, from getting my coffee and there were six security cops <laughs> staring at my, my little scooter like it's radioactive or right, something. Right, right, right. And I got back and they said, you have to walk that vehicle back to your, to your loot studio. And I said, okay. And I took two steps and hopped on it. And... <laughs> Oh boy. And they started out. chasing me and radioing ahead to like alleyways in between the stages. You got it. You got to get it. Gotta, and I and and they were waiting for me back in my in, at the stage, and I, I would veer away from them and, and keep driving, and the crew would wave me on and cheer me on like OJ. Yeah, yeah. Go, go. That's great. Be great if a helicopter news had picked it up. Actor Richard Schiff is escaping on a you know. That would be terrific. That would have been great. Yeah, didn't happen. Uh, <laughs> congratulations, Dr. Schiff. Thank First you First of very all, much. that's very nice. And of course, The West Wing, one of what we've learned is five shows it's keeping this network going, uh, <laughs> returns to NBC this fall. Richard Schiff, thank oh, you very much. Good to have you. I'll be right back with Simple Kids. Stick around. I like that.